What's up? This is Dinis Demir. I uh, wanted to shoot this video and I'm going to title it Dear Black People, Harlem is Not Africa. And the reason why I want to title it Harlem is Not Africa is because I keep hearing this rhetoric that you could substitute Barbados or Bahia or Jamaica or any um, or the West Indies or Harlem or all the Belize or all these, I guess, predominantly black nations in the West with Africa. And it's not the case. Africa is Africa, period. And the reason why people think this is because the conscious community is putting out this misinformation that, you know, well, brother, you know, Africa can't be limited to a specific place or geographic location. See, brother, Africa is in the mind. So wherever you at on this planet is Africa because your mind is African. And that's just not the case. Like you have to go to Africa to experience Africa. Barbados or Jamaica is not Africa. It's not. I don't care how many black people are in Barbados or in Jamaica or are on 125th and Malcolm X. It's still not Africa. You still have to go to Africa to experience Africa. And then the majority the, I think the prime reason why they're putting out this misinformation is because I'll be honest, the majority of conscious people that I run into are scared of Africa. If it's not Cape Town and staying in a, in a Hilton hotel, then they are afraid to go to Africa. Like that's my experience when I have conversations with people with the conscious community in regards to going to Africa. So they make up these excuses and they try to back it with all this knowledge or hoopla or fantasy, whatever you want to call it. But again, Barbados, Jamaica, I don't care how many black people are in these nations, it's not Africa. Belize is not Africa. Haiti, even though the important role that Haiti played as far as being the first uh, republic or free black republic um, in the West, is still not Africa. You have to go to Africa to experience Africa. And then a lot of times, when you talk to these conscious people who tell you that, oh, you could go to Barbados or Jamaica and it'll substitute Africa. When they go and come back, you know, and you talk to them, you have a conversation. Hey, how was how was Barbados or how was Jamaica? Yeah, brother, you know, we went to the beach and we stayed at the Hilton Hotel and uh, uh, we went clubbing. And we're partying, brother, and it was cracking. We have fun, brother. And then if you ask, okay, so what conscious information or what information did you bring back from Jamaica or Bar Barbados? Um, or what African information did you bring back from Barbados or Jamaica? Uh, brother, well, you know, um, I didn't bring any because I was on the beach and I was drinking margaritas and getting the massages at the Hilton Hotel at the spa. And we was clubbing, listening to reggae music. I got that five reggae CD, but as far as African information, nah, brother, I didn't bring nothing. But if you want this John Henry Clark book for $5.95, he'll explain everything about Africa in this book. And usually I charge $20.95, but brother, I'll give it to you for $5.95 if you buy it right now. So that, so that is why you, you just have to go to Africa. And I love the conscious community. You know, I've learned a lot from the conscious community, but some of this folklore, we just have to separate it from some of the real information. So again, Harlem is not Africa. Barbados is not Africa. Jamaica is not Africa. Bahia is not Africa. Suriname is not Africa. I don't care how many black people are in these nations. It's not Africa. You have to hop on a plane and go back to the motherland. That's why it's called the motherland. You have to go to Africa and quit listening to these conscious people that are trying to tell you that you could substitute Africa with another nation when you can't or substitute the nations in Africa with the nation outside of Africa when you can't. And then, you know, like I said, when they go to these nations like Jamaica or Barbados, they partying. And then when you come back and ask for some African information, they don't have none, but you can buy the um, John Henry Clark book for twenty ninety five, And that's what's going on. So we have to stop it. People go to Africa. It's okay.
catch a flight. They have planes that go to Africa. I promise you, you'll be fine. I do it every year and absolutely love it. And plus, say you say you talk to a, a Mexican and we'll say, I don't know, Mississippi. And you, and your Mexican partner, your Mexican friend says, hey, I'm going to go to Mexico. Like, if you told him, like, hey, you don't have to go to Mexico. You can just go to East L.A. because there's a ton of Mexicans in East L.A. So you don't have to go to Mexico. He's going to think you're crazy. Like, what are you talking about, dude? I'm going to Mexico. East L.A. is not Mexico. It's East L.A. So same thing has to be applied with dealing with Africa. Quit listening to these guys that are telling you that you could substitute another nation outside of Africa for Africa. You can't do it. So check out my other videos. Uh, leave your response. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, go to www.searchforuhuru.com. Check me out. Um, and I'm going to do another video basically dealing with the conscious community and Africa. You know, more videos are to come. So check me out. Talk to you later. I'm out.